so students now we are uh, studying about the nutrition in amoeba okay so you already seen that uh, pseudopodia have a structure in the amoeba and the food vacuums through they catch their prey and take a food inside okay and after that they just uh, spread the nutrients inside their body so uh, first we have to uh, discuss about the uh, amoeba amoeba okay so amoeba is a unicellular organisms all the five steps of nutrition in an amoeba occurs within a cell okay so we already discussed about the five steps of nutrition in our uh, last previous uh, topic okay, in which ingestion digestion and uh, absorption assimilation and ejection okay these are the five steps we already discussed in uh, last uh, our, uh, class okay uh, and all the five steps of nutrition okay, in the previous one okay now we are uh, uh, studied this uh, five step so all the five steps of nutrition in an amoeba occurs within a cell occurs within a cell because amoeba is a unicellular uni means one uni means single and cellular means a uh, cell it means a uh, one cell contain organisms is known as amoeba it means amoeba having only one cell to perform every and each activity so at the time of ingestion at the time of ingestion uh, you see uh, what is this ingestion taking the food inside the body false feet false feet i already uh, 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 told about that pseudo means false and podia means feet so ingestion can be take with the help of false feet that is the pseudopodia pseudopodia is a structure found in the external part of the amoeba body and it is the pseudopodia in the part from where the food can be entered into their body it means maybe the prey or food vacuums are there with prey in the form of food just get inside the uh, amoeba body surrounds the food to form a structure called food vacuums surrounds the surrounds the food to form a structure called food vacuums so here it is the formation of food vacuums formation of this is the our pseudopodia and this is the formation of its the prey in the form of food vacuums in the form of food vacuums so in food vacuums digestive juices are released so in this food vacuum many digestive juices are released released which convert the complex substances present in food into the simpler one uh, we already discussed about that before to take nutrients from the food the formation of simpler one of food is necessary from the complex it means the nutrients are in the form of complex material that is uh, need to be uh, convert into the simpler ones or soluble forms because without this forms or soluble or simpler forms the body of this amoeba or other organisms cannot absorb the nutrients absorb the nutrients so which convert the complex substances so what is the uh, function of this complex uh, this uh, vacuum digestive juice to make complex food into the simpler ones substances present in food into the simpler soluble substances digested food is absorbed and assimilated to get energy and maintain the life process you know about that when we will take ingest the food after that food will be digested okay and digested food will be absorbed okay and assimilated okay assimilated means to assimilate assimilate means uh, to collect the food to get energy and maintain the life process maintain the life life process are having a many activities like a growth development of uh, body reproductions okay and many the circulations the all life uh, living activities can be done by the uh, living organisms okay so amoeba is also a living organism but unicellular unicellular means only one cell organism undigested food is thrown out uh, of the cell it means once the food is digested get absorbed and after that assimilated now the the time for the ejection process now the time for the ejection process and in the ejection process the unwanted and undigested food is just thrown out from the body or from the cell so thrown out of the cell a board of undigested food should be thrown out of the cell in amoeba the process of digestion takes place within the cell within the cell it means this is the whole whole body is a one cell and the process of digestion is within the cell that's why it is known as intracellular 
digestion intra means inside and cellular means cellular means cell so if the process is going just inside the cell is known as intracellular and if the process of digestion will be to the outside of the cell is known as extracellular digestion is known as extracellular digestion in which the, the digestion will not uh, digest it means food will not uh, digested inside the cell body so this is that is known as intracellular digestion so now we have to see what is the mechanism of feeding habits of amoeba feeding habits of amoeba it means once when uh, they will uh, see the food or uh, reach the availability of food then how the process of or how the, what are the changes inside the single cell organisms okay single cell organisms so you see pseudopodia is the false feet okay develop at any part of the cell body it means this is the cell or this is the body okay and any part of the cell body this is the ingestion process and after that the prey is when uh, they will see the prey prey is just get uh, uh, outside the structure of body here and the nucleus food vacuoles and uh, so here it is the formation of food vacuoles once the, they will see the prey then the formation of food vacuoles is found here and this food vacuoles secrete the digestive juices secrete the digestive juices and this digestive juice also take the food inside to the their body and when these grooves happen it means this uh, ridges are happen after that this body is just connected with again and uh, uh, give the shape of like that uh, like earlier okay so once the pseudopodia are present then vacuoles is formed and this vacuoles take up the food inside and when the this is the nucleus okay you know about that your nucleus is a uh, main uh, part of the uh, cell okay main the uh, it is the main center of the uh, cell and when the food is available this food is goes inside and when the inside is goes this can be just again join with and again get the same earlier structure of the body and this is the residual vacuum this is the residual food vacuum okay so when the food is get inside it will be digested and uh, the complex food material is go uh, converted into the simpler ones then uh, assimilated okay and also that uh, food is absorbed okay and here it is the process of uh, uh, diffusion like in which the food is just uh, simply spread to the whole of body because there is a uh, no tubes or vessels are present inside the one body because only this one cells can perform all the activities all the life living activities okay uh, everything okay so then food will get uh, vacuoles get attached this residual food vac uh, vacuoles will be left in uh, uh, inside that and at the time of ejection it means if the some part of the uh, food is unwanted or undigested now okay there is a no use in the uh, uh, for inside the cell body then uh, it will be thrown out of the body it will be thrown out of the body you already seen that undigested food is thrown out of the cell it means from any part of their body it can be thrown out to the outside okay and this process is known as intracellular uh, i think you understood what is the meaning of this intracellular because intracellular means uh, the cell the digestion of food just inside the cell just inside the cell and if the digestion is possible outside the cell is known as extracellular digestion okay i hope you understood okay so once again we can see and uh, revise uh, revise of this uh, matter okay today is so amoeba is a unicellular organism so you understood about that unicellular means one cell organism and all the five steps of nutrition in means ingestion okay digestion assimilation absorption assimilation and ejection all this can happen in here and in amoeba occurs within a cell okay amoeba it means uh, this uh, all these five steps nutrition within the one cell is a very tiny cell okay and at the time of ingestion false this pseudopodia just surround the food to form a food vacuoles food vacuoles take this prey inside okay, to form a structure called food vacuoles and its food vacuole digestive juice are released which convert the complex substance which release the com complex substance 
present in food into the simpler soluble substance which can convert into uh, we already discussed about that uh, it should be needed that uh, if food uh, can be uh, food nutrients can be taken by the uh, body uh, organisms then it should be first converted into simpler or soluble form without this form nutrients cannot be absorbed by the body so food is absorbed and assimilated to get energy maintain the life process maintain the life process life process everything is there reproduction repair growth everything process are life process okay everything it is uh, body can walk okay can reproduce reproduce uh, can do every uh, life activities are known as life process undigested food is thrown out of the cell and next is important that intracellular so i hope you understood this what is the prey is a food okay and food vacuole is formation here due to this uh, pseudopodia and when food vacuoles are just get inside this can be break into the simpler ones okay because this is the maybe the complex this is the residue and residue uh, vacuoles are just uh, or maybe sometimes unwanted undigested food are just thrown out of the cell okay by the cell by the any part of their external body by the any part it is from any part of the their body just thrown out of the cell okay thank you